What's going on guys, we're back with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle, the JP version of Dokken Battle, and we're actually going to be taking on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku event, we're going to be using a Mono AGL team. Uh, just want to go ahead and find a Vegeta friend here, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and uh, we are definitely going to get into this event. I need, uh, I think I need 7 more medals to awaken my Super Saiyan 3 uh, GT Kid Goku. So that's the point of us doing the event. I already have all the. I, I, I already awakened. I already woke in my Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Actually, I was just going to say, I need more medals for him. But, um, <laughs> like, you know, I pull so many cards. Uh, you need medals for, like, everyone. I need medals for, you know, the new pan. I need medals for Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. I need medals for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Oh, man. I need. I can't find a Vegeta anywhere. Really? Come on, man. Like, I just need one that's awakened. Alright, well, I have that one as an option. He's SA1. I would prefer one at least an SA5. Um, Alright, whatever. We'll just take that one just to. Save time so we don't waste. Yeah, he's an SA1, but whatever. Um, but yeah, well, like I was saying, I mean, I pull so many cards. <laughs> I have to do so many freaking awakenings, guys. It is ridiculous. Like I said, I pulled both the Super Saiyan 4, they pulled Super Saiyan 3 GT, Kid Goku. Uh, we pulled the new pan. Um, who else did I need awaken? Uh, Rose, of course. Uh, I pulled Ultimate Gohan. I need to awaken him. Uh, who else did I pull, man? I know I, I, I pulled I pull so many cards. I can't even think right now. Um, I pulled. Uh, uh, I'm sure I pulled someone else. I just can't. Omega Shinron. There we go. I have Omega Shinron. They need to weaken a lot of units. You know, a lot of farming guys, a lot of training items. It is a bit of a pain to try to weaken all these characters because they require so much. Everyone needs training items. Everyone needs, you know, awakening medals. Uh, everyone needs Zenies a lot, guys. So hmm. I don't have a couple units on the team here awakened. Like I don't have my Super Saiyan Rose uh, Goku Black awakened. I don't have my uh, my own Super Saiyan Four Vegeta awakened, as you can see right there. Uh, but I'm working on the medals. I'm working on it, guys. It just it's a lot to do. I mean, I'm trying to do uh, one character time. Like right now, I'm doing the Super Saiyan 3 GT Kid Goku, and uh, that's what that's the reason why we're doing the event, like I said previously. But uh, it's just a lot, man. It is so much grinding and farming. Now let's focus on the event here. So I do want to keep a rally around because she actually has a chance to stun. And the thing about this event, you cannot stun the uh, Super Saiyan 4 phase, which is the very last phase. You can only stun his um, first and second phase, which is the Super Saiyan 3 AGL Kid Goku you see here. Then after this portion, he turns into a Great Ape, and you can also stun that one as well. But you can't stun the Super Saiyan 4, which is the last phase. So, well, I didn't even get a Super of the Rally, so it doesn't matter. But hopefully, she can come in clutch for us between this phase and the other phase. And uh, I am drinking a little bit of coconut milk vanilla flavor, guys, so hope you do not mind. Mm. Uh, yeah, I drink the whole entire carton. I love it. It's amazing. Um, very good amount of healthy fats. I mean, if, if you want me to kind of give you a description, a lot of good uh, healthy fats, some medium chain triglycerides, all kind of good stuff inside here. So, uh, first stage, we're ready to down out two bars. You know, pretty much two bars, so not a bad start at all. To the turn, if I do say so myself, we have the two Vegeta's here. Of course, I'm going to keep the Awakened one right there because if there is a super attack, then he has a chance to mitigate that with his um, super attack counter, of course. Uh, it is a medium chance to happen, so it's not a guarantee at all, but nonetheless, we do have a chance to make some magic happen by keeping Vegeta there, of course. And uh, my other Vegeta, yeah, you'll be getting super as well. Now, the reason why I have Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, although he doesn't get the buff as all the other characters do, because if you don't know, Vegeta's uh, Super Saiyan 4 lead ability only applies to super characters, meaning hero characters. Super Saiyan Rose, of course, the villain. But nonetheless, he does get somewhat of a boost. Uh, you know, from, from the Awakened one, he gets one key, HP, attack, and defense of 50%. And uh, from my Vegeta, who's not Awakened, he only gets the uh, the 40% uh, HP, attack, and defense up. He doesn't get any key at the moment, but he will get once my Vegeta Awakens. But honestly, it's not, it's not a big, huge deal because Rose, he already gives himself key as is. He gives three key as a possible. When he's Awakened, mine is Awakened, he's only giving himself two key. But when I do Awaken this bad boy, he'll be giving himself three key as a positive, so that's not bad at all. Um, yeah, volume is on. Just want to check the volume. And uh, I mean, you know, Rose hits very, very hard. So you know, yeah, he's not gonna get that huge boost, but it can still work. If any villain can work on one of these uh, mono hero teams, it is definitely Rose. And uh, I mean, I could definitely see Omega Shinron working on strength team because he does have the GT link. But of course, these units aren't gonna hit as hard as the super characters because they don't have the um, the additional buff from the 120% uh, up um, from all stats. So this is like the end of the first phase, and uh, as you can see, it's not difficult at all. I'm talking, having a good time, I'm chilling, having fun. 
and uh, we're just going through this no problem at all and this is actually the hardest part of the event if you use a mono HDL team that is because he's an HDL unit and after this he's just going to go into his strength forms and that's where we just you know listen that's actually cool it looks like he jumps out uh, from the photo in the back so that is actually a cool little shot there so grade 8 pretty uh, pretty freaking cool I can't wait to actually awaken this card and have him on my strength team that is going to be lit guys so um wow uh, who has more defense well Goku of course thank god Goku uh, definitely has more defense than Rose um wow okay so huh, I'm gonna put Goku there to take those two hits at the end hopefully if there's a super here it is on Vegeta hopefully Vegeta can counter the super uh 246 there we go that's a super uh you need three key my boy so we got three key over here and God Goku is not going to get super, but nonetheless, we're going to do some pretty good damage. As is, uh, don't be a super. Wow. <laughs> the uh, first, the first friggin' attack is a super, and Rose, of course, has the lowest defense. But we do have the type advantage, so it's not going to be a lot of damage. So it's not a big deal. It could have been a lot worse. It really could have. Uh, now I do want to apologize to you guys. <laughs> I really feel like I have to. Uh, during the uh, wow, that was that was a little funny how he just hit his hand instead of his body because he's so big, of course, but. Uh, the two-year anniversary, of course, like, I was a little too hyped in my summoning videos. I was a little too over the top, but I was very excited, guys. I was so excited. Two-year anniversary, Super Saiyan 4s. The banners were amazing. We have units like Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito, uh, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and the Vegeta banner. And uh, we have units like Super Vegito. Uh, you know, we have uh, Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. We have Gogeta, uh, you know, Goku Black in the Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner. And uh, I was just hyped, guys. Like... It was so so hype and I definitely went a little bit harder than I planned to go like I think I spend um, at the end of it it was 1200 stones yes 1200 stones I'm gonna heal up here before I die uh, 1200 stones and I have never spent anywhere near that much at any banner I think the most I've ever spent a banner was about three or four hundred so we went from three or four hundred to freaking 1200 so <laughs> I definitely did go way over the top on the banner, but at the same time, it's second year anniversary. You know, you only get one anniversary coming around once per year, so I'm not going to do that every single time. I'm not going to do that every single banner. Hell no, I'm probably not going to do that again until the next year anniversary if Dokkan is still around, that is. Uh, granted, I do play both JP and Global, so Global's anniversary should be coming up. Ooh, additional attack. I was going to attack, but they see additional attack nonetheless. Uh, Global's uh, anniversary will be coming up very soon. I don't think I'm going to be going as ham because the thing about that, like, you know, me being a global and JP player, it's really hard to really want to put stones into the banners that are on global because you know what's coming up. We know there's going to be the God Banner, we know there's going to be uh, Super Saiyan Blue, um, Vegito, we know there's going to be Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, we know there's eventually going to be Super Saiyan 4s. So it's, it's pretty hard to give global attention. It really is because it's like, you're going to, oh, oh, the counter, oh, clutch. Wow, there we go. There we go. Wow, we got it on camera. That's very nice. And that's my non-awakened Vegeta right there. Um, very nice. So anyways, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Um, <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. We definitely want to get the KO. Uh, don't want to test the waters at all. But yeah, like I was saying, it's pretty hard to focus on both because, you know, I'm going to put time into Grand on Global. Going to get stones and medals and everything. But at the same time, you know, the cards that I pull will be very irrelevant soon. Like, you know, it's kind of difficult to really play global when you know what's coming if you play JP as well so I don't really know I mean I'm gonna play global of course like global global was my main account at first uh, well that was pretty easy now we're gonna move on Super Saiyan 4 but at the same time of course JP is now taking over and it's you know the main portion of my content the JP version of Dokkan anyways we're gonna see what happens with global in a little bit but looks like we're gonna have a good turn right off the back so we're definitely going to be putting uh, Super Vegeta right there to counter all those hits. Hopefully they are counterable hits and not supers. Otherwise, that's going to be some pretty... I mean, it's not going to kill us that hard because we do have the type advantage. I'm going to be popping it at 30%. Now it's going to give us a little bit of an attack boost. But uh, it's not going to hit us too hard because we have the type advantage. So, uh, we could actually take a super and live. So that's not even a bad thing. Shouldn't even need to worry about that at this point. Uh, everyone has supers and we could potentially get, I think that is uh, four counters, attacking four times right there. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to take a sip of my coconut water, guys. Coconut milk. Wow, water. 
Very nice vanilla flavor. Very freaking amazing. Uh, hmm. Is that three times in the beginning? I didn't even see. I think he counted three times in the beginning. Uh, maybe. Wow. Uh, so Vegito, man. Vegito on a super AGL team like you see here. Freaking clutch. Um, my dude crits for like six, seven hundred k. Like, are you kidding me? You know, these units have such a big boost from, you know, their attack being increased, their health, their defense being increased. They just become so great. You have units that are that were kind of irrelevant, that are now relevant once again. Like, I'm using the Age of Raleigh. Um, I'm using Super Saiyan God Goku. Units that weren't really relevant because we have other units coming out are now relevant again because people are going back to the mono teams. No one is really going to be running villains or heroes. I mean, granted, you will for certain events, but for the most part, you will be running either... Uh, the Mono AGL uh, with the Vegeta lead or the Mono Strength lead with the Goku. So it's kind of, it's just cool, man. Like, you got a lot of good stuff coming back, a lot of great units that are making a comeback. And I personally like it. I think it's awesome. I think it is great that we're finding use for some older SSRs that are very relevant. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, this is going to be pretty good. I wish we could uh, get some more counters in, but uh, I don't know if this is going to be a super attack, and I don't even know if. Uh, he's going to mitigate that super attack with a counter, uh, but we're going to have to wait and see. Um, yes, 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 yes. Some pretty good damage right off the back. I think Goku has a bit of, yeah, he definitely has a bit of a barrier, definitely. Um, yeah, we didn't get any supers off there. Goku Black coming in sli slightly clutch. Uh, super attack one. So, you know, Grant, he's still doing 100k damage with um, the disadvantage leader ability. So, pretty good as Goku Black. I mean, come on now, of course, he's going to do a lot of damage. Right off the back, but I do want to get him Doken Awaken. I want to get him to at least an SA4. Oh, are oh are we gonna see the counter guy? I think we're gonna see the counter. You saw how it glitched there. There's a the counter. You can tell when it's gonna counter guys because there's like a bit of a a slow little pause and then it goes into the uh, super animation. You can tell. I knew it was gonna counter there, so you pay attention to it. You can actually uh, you can actually see when the counters are gonna happen, which is pretty freaking cool. Now this might actually be the end of him because we have a couple counters coming in. We're going to have two super attacks from two of my hardest hitters. We're going to be popping the 30% announcer. Hopefully we can get the KO right now. And uh, we are 12 minutes in the video so we actually have quite a bit of time to spare. Um, I usually try to gauge my videos for about 20 minutes because my DSLR can only film 20 minutes of footage so that is unfortunate but nonetheless we don't need any video going past 20 minutes either way. So yes, okay, one counter and that is it, yeah. GG, I didn't even need, I didn't even pop the announcer. The announcer was just a bit of overkill. Um sorry if you're hearing noise. Uh you know that's my niece. I don't know what's going on, but uh if you do hear her kind of screaming in the background, just know that nothing bad is happening. She's a baby. Yes. So now we have all the medals we need to awaken our Super Saiyan 3 Kid GT Goku, and we can have the perfect strength team. I'm going to show you my strength team. It is actually lit. It is freaking fire guys. It really is fire. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to call this uh, Super Saiyan 3 uh, GT Goku Awakening or if I'm just going to say this is like the boss event video. I have no idea what this video is really uh, going to pertain to uh, with a focus point but of course you're going to be awakening the character so that is actually the purpose of the video. Um, so I'm, I definitely gotta work on farming um, those uh, Elder Kai's and Baba Shop. I'm kind of lazy with this kind of thing because you gotta farm the apples from the uh, from the GT event. There's actually two GT events going on, and you can get two Elder Kai's per event, meaning four Elder Kai's. But you have to farm so many of the coins and so many of the apples. It's a lot, guys. It's a lot of farming, a lot of a lot of everything right now. JP JP has so much shit going on, and we have the World Tournament coming up next week, guys. Like so much shit is going on right now. So we're gonna go ahead and awaken my boy. And I think I actually need to get him up a couple more levels before we go ahead and awaken him. So definitely wanna get that done uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, we need nine more levels on him. And then I'll definitely show you my uh, strength team, which is, like I said, amazing. And I'm gonna explain certain things with the characters that I use. Um, uh, I just want a character to feed into him. I just want some kind of irrelevant R. Uh, hmm. Don't want to give him okay we're giving this piccolo very uh don't want to give him that fucking android uh so so we need to get him eight levels uh so i hope i have some z sword like i said running pretty low on everything yeah we have a couple uh, well we don't have a lot a couple z swords uh that's four levels down are we gonna get it are we going to be able to let's give him a turtle shell 
uh, from the intelligence section. Wow, so we need uh, three more levels, man. Uh, huh, okay then. Uh, that isn't even okay. Well, uh, wow. Um, hmm. Well, let's give him some more Z swords, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, and yeah. Still, no. Let's give him back that turtle shell. <laughs> Guys, I'm running so low on items, yo, like, you guys have no idea, my god, oh, still not enough, you know what, let's give him the one times multiplier, uh, that isn't even enough, wow, let's actually do this and let's hope that we actually get the chance to get one of the multipliers because, um, they, they actually increase the rates for you to get one of the multipliers when you train, train a character, so let's hope we can get one that gives us 100% up. Or 100 uh, levels up. Yeah, so this is going to bring us up to level oh, 99. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Of course, level 99. What a little slap in the face right there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put just one more level on him. If this can load, my God, the load sometimes can be so low on JP. That's one thing about JP that I don't like the load. It can definitely take quite a bit of time sometimes. But uh, oh, well, something to work with. You just got to. Just gotta roll with it, right? Uh, that should be enough. Yeah, that is GG right there. Amazing, absolutely amazing, absolutely sickening. Yes, 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 yes. All right, good shit. So we're now we're gonna awaken this bad boy, and uh, we're gonna go right into the strength team, guys. Uh, like I said, I love my strength team. It is amazing, and we're definitely going to take a look at it once this awakening happens. In before I don't have the medals, right? Like, okay, that's what I thought. Let's do it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot, man. Wow, that would have been so bad. I have a dupe of him. And I want to go ahead and put the dupe into the dupe system. Uh, so we can go ahead and open up the node. Wow, that would have been horrible. That would have been so bad. Because I would have to use uh, uh, one of the hourglass to uh, reverse him. Damn. Yeah. Um, this video is actually coming up on 20 minutes. Holy shit, I've been talking a lot, have I? I'm actually going to save this portion for another video. I'm going to have to, guys. The video is already long enough. I don't want to drag on because we have to go through the Awakening. And I do want to go through the stats and everything else. So, I'm going to end it there. And we're going to actually uh, come back in another video to go ahead and do the Awakening, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, comment down below, guys. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.